Hello, I'm Jennifer Witt, Director of ProjectManager.com. Well, welcome to our whiteboard session today on optimizing your project scorecard. So, when was the last time you heard the term project scorecard? Well, if you said never, you're not alone. It's a term that comes and goes with time. It's a buzzword. And it comes with some fear because people are afraid to implement a project scorecard in fear of what may be uncovered and worse yet, the repercussions that may come along with it. So today what I want to point out is using your project scorecard. So not evaluating the project, but evaluating you as the project manager. You can simply put together a project scorecard. Let's see what that is, why you would do it, and how you would do it. So today, what is, what is a project scorecard? So it's used to assess your project management effectiveness and impact. Because after all, as a project manager, we want to be effective and better yet, we want to have impact to not only our project team members, our change control board, our stakeholders, and have better results on our project. So if you want to do something bold to stand out, not only and gain more respect for your project team, but your customers, approach them proactively and ask them to participate in your project scorecard. Well, back when we were saying that people are fearful of using uh, a project scorecard because they're afraid of what might be uncovered for them so they're hesitant to participate. What we do know is that people love to evaluate others because they may say, wow, this is an opportunity for me to participate and give that person positive feedback or this is my, this is my opportunity to an undisclosed way to help this person maybe uncover their weaknesses. So people love to evaluate others. So if you want to, again, be bold, approach them. And who would you approach? So if you are wanting to get feedback for your project scorecard, um, ask your project team members to participate, your stakeholders, your customers, and your change control board. So how would you do that? So not to make anything really overburdensome because that's not the idea. The idea is you just want some input. So number one, make it short and simple. Short and simple for yourself, but also short and simple for these people to participate because you, you after all, do want them to participate. And just have some project management knowledge areas. So they're different methodologies. So based on the methodology you use, uh, assess the different knowledge areas. And you ultimately want to know how are you doing? How are you doing? So, and then from that, what would be the result? So the result from this is all these part people participating in your project scorecard to give you feedback. The result is this. Number one, you find gaps. So the beauty of finding gaps is you see, number one, you start a dialogue. So by doing this, you begin starting a dialogue with yourself and these people. Again, this actually helps people to gain more respect for you because you're reaching out for them for their input. And now you can begin dialogue. So not dialogue in you becoming defensive, but a dialogue in uncovering, I want to know more about that. Let's talk more. And you can over uncover more for your growth. And number two, you begin uncovering, when you uncover the gaps, you begin seeing your weaknesses somewhere where you may need more training or more support. So that's actually information or ammunition for you to go back to maybe your, your company, your organization, and ask for training and support. And you could also see areas of time that you're wasting doing things where your time is better served doing something else. So areas where you may be able to delegate work so you can do things that are more important. And by using the scorecard, you have data and information to take to different people to help you. And then, more importantly, you begin uncovering your strengths. And with your strengths, you begin seeing what do you stand for as a project manager? What's important for you? Where do you excel? What are your strengths? And in essence, you begin forming your own brand. You start having your company, your organization, the people you work with see what you stand for. And they know when those projects come along, they automatically think of you. So again, I feel like these are some helpful things. They've always been helpful for me. The first time I did it was very scary because I didn't know what would be uncovered or what may be the repercussions. But what I found, it gained more credibility. 
I got to do these things, establish more of a brand. It was bold. So I'm asking you to be bold. So be bold, optimize your project scorecard. If you want to be bold and optimize your project scorecard and need a tool to help you evaluate some of the areas, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.